We're at the CMSC, the Coordinate Metrology Systems Conference in beautiful San Diego, uh, and we're at the booth of Capture 3D, and with me right now is Johan Gaut, Director of Operations for Capture 3D, and you're going to be telling us all about a brand new product from Capture 3D, is that right? Uh, yes, I am. I'm going to tell you about the ATOS Core, but if I can, if I could take a, a minute for a minute to give you, can I take a minute to give you an idea of the background sure. of Capture 3D? Absolutely. So, uh, 15 years ago, Rick and I started the company with a premise that when you look at the product development cycle, it basically has the concept, the design, the manufacturing, and the service, or the maintenance, repair, and overhaul. And the idea was that we can provide an accurate and rapid as-built condition that the customer could then use to verify that their processes are correct, that would be a value to help shorten the overall product development time and time to market. Okay. So with that, um, basically what we're able to do is to scan the part, compare it back to the CAD model, and this idea that we do a full field measurement gives you this color map, gives the end user the information that he knows on what he needs to do with that part to uh, get it into spec or if his manufacturing processes are correct. Okay, uh, well let's, let's take a look at the okay. ATOS core. So what we actually have running here right now is the ATOS core, it's the 300 series. And what we're scanning here, Dirk, is we're giving a demonstration where we're showing the blade being scanned by the core, and we've got it set up on a rotary stage, and then we also have what some people might have seen before is this reference frame. And this reference frame makes the scanning simple and easy because I don't have to prepare the part, put any targets on or anything. I can actually drop the part in, start the routine, have it rotate, and take measurements. Oh, and, and the reference frame is giving the the information back to the to the software of the orientation of the, of the blade is that uh, the orientation of the blade and the, and more importantly the orientation of each scan. Okay. So by having that reference frame, it's automatically merging scan to scan, and then we'll actually see that on the, the monitor when we take a look at that. Okay. And what what sets the ATOS for uh, core? I'm sorry. Apart from your uh, fr from your other triple scan. Yeah. Products. So the great news is the ATOS core is our newest product line from Gohm in Germany, and what's really nice about it, it's at about a forty five thousand dollar price point and it's allowing these customers who haven't been able to experience the data quality of the ATOS systems an opportunity to get into the system and be able to actually enhance the product if they would like with capabilities like the triple scan capability and then be able to go if they necessary up and upgrade through the higher ends of the product. Oh, I didn't realize that. So the, so the core is actually a, a product that can be be built upon, is that? The, it is, there's functionality that can be turned on in the system to actually build upon its, its initial configuration, and then we actually offer in a retractive upgrade if they want to move up to the compact scan or the triple scan. Okay, now you, you mentioned GOM. So, I mean, you, you guys are a distributor of GOM, is that right? Yeah, correct. We are the exclusive North American representative for the GOM uh, measurement products. Okay, so in terms of, in terms of pricing, how is the, the, the core positioned with your other products? Yeah, so the core, as I mentioned, uh, we come in at uh, $45,000 price point and then we actually have the triple scan can be 195,000 or so and then if we do it with the automated solutions with robots or a motion control we kind of go from there. Okay. So there's quite a range now based on having the core as a product. Okay. And and tell us a little bit about uh, software that would go with this. Okay. So the software that comes with the core um, actually does the scanning the merging of the scan data and the STL generation of, for, the, for the data. And then what you can use is the free GOM software for inspection, and for people needing a more robust inspection capabilities, there is the ability to get the professional inspection software that allows them to do what we call a parametric inspection, ex inspection to where you're doing repetitive inspection and things like that. What, what if you already have inspection, uh, inspection routines that have already been, been written? Um, do you have to reprogram the, the core to do that, or they can, can they be brought in? or how does that work? Yeah, the good news is if you have some inspection plans that have already been written, we can typically input the data points that you're looking to measure or the features you're looking to measure and incorporate that into our inspection plan. We can then deliver if somebody just wants as kind of a standard CMM type of report or what we like to deliver is the full color map reports where we're actually showing more information and more what's going on with the part. Okay, uh, well let's talk a, a little bit about the software. Okay. So what we're actually doing, uh, just so you know, it's, it's, we're kind of running this demo script where it's a, a live demonstration of the, the scanner scanning. So you'll see the scan, you'll actually see the data go into place, and you'll see the automatic merging of the scan data. What, what's this in the upper left corner? That's actually the live video um, from one of the cameras okay. that it's seeing as it's scanning. It's maybe a little hard to see, but you can actually see the, the fringe patterns placed on there. And then you'll see the new data come in and the scan in the bottom when it's done. 
And what we've got here is, believe it or not, is just eight scans on a rotation table. And after this next shot, I think it's the eighth scan. You can see the amount of data that we have on the system. And then when uh, Devin's going to go ahead and bring up the, the full measurement. And this is actually the three-dimensional scan data. It's not a CAD model. And if Devin rotates, you can see the fidelity of the data. Mm -hmm. And then when Devin actually clicked over what he actually uh, had on already, this would be the, another example of the color map comparison. So I've laid the CAD model, so my design intent, I've laid the scan data on top of it. Where it goes from yellow to red, I'm outboard of CAD, and where it goes blue to dark blue, I'm inboard. Okay. And then what we have on top here, Dirk, is we have some uh, industry-specific uh, modules, and this one is the blade module, to where we have uh, the ability to go ahead and take the key measurements in a pretty automated fashion and extract them from the scan data. And the great thing is, once you've created this for one of your, your profile measurements, you can actually save it and then apply it at different areas on the blade. Okay. And we also have a similar type of a, a module for the sheet metal industry, for example. Okay, great. Well, Johan, uh, thanks for showing us the uh, the ATOS core <laughs> uh, from Capture 3D. I appreciate you letting us uh, come by your booth. Okay, thank you.